The New York Jets are at odds of 55 to 1 to win the Super Bowl. Their 2016 season win total is set at 8. They're at odds of plus 2,500 to win the AFC, while they're at odds of plus 528 to win the AFC East. Last season saw the Jets go 10 and 6 straight up, while going 8, 6 and 2 against the spread. The team also went 8 and 8 on the over under. The New York Jets are coming off a surprising season a year ago. It saw them go 10 and 6, but they still missed the playoffs. It will not be easy in 2016, as the team has a much tougher schedule. And they have not even decided whether or not they want to pay starting quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick. The Jets will have a different look in the backfield with or without Fitzpatrick, though, as Chris Ivory is now gone and Matt Forty takes his place. The defense will also look different without Antonio Cromarty. Oddsmakers think that the Jets could have some trouble in 2016 as the win total for New York is set at just eight games. If Fitzpatrick comes back, then the Jets do have a chance to reach that total. But if the Jets go with Geno Smith, their outlook is much bleaker. It is hard to project the New York offense without knowing who will start at quarterback. Ryan Fitzpatrick is not a great quarterback, but he does enough to move the offense and lead the team to points. Geno Smith, on the other hand, has never done anything other than turn the ball over when he leads the offense. The Jets also have Bryce Petty, and they took Christian Hackenberg in the draft, but neither of those players are ready. The good news for the Jets is that they signed Matt Forty, who takes over at running back. New York also has two good receivers in Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker, and the offensive line could be improved with the addition of Ryan Clady. The Jets were solid on defense a year ago as they were ninth best in the NFL in points allowed. The Jets do have some concerns entering this season as defensive and Muhammad Wilkerson is threatening to hold out and Antonio Cromartie is now gone. The front line is a big key for the Jets as pressure on the opposing quarterbacks allows the secondary to make plays. Darrell Revis is still considered a great cornerback, but he is getting older and he won't have as much help on the other side with Cromartie gone. The Jets did take Darren Lee from Ohio State to upgrade the linebacking corps, but they may need other young players to contribute if they are to be as good on defense as they were a year ago. The Jets surprised many people last year by winning 10 games, and oftentimes a team will regress after coming too far too fast. That could easily happen to the Jets this season as they face a very difficult schedule with a team that looks weaker on both sides of the ball than they did a year ago. A 7-9 or 8-8 season for New York in 2016 is a real possibility.